Hey everybody, this is Terry, and since I'm going on vacation at the end of this week, I wanted to get a Traveler's Notebook video done, and what I wanted to show you was just how I prep the pages with a cheap watercolor, or, um, excuse me, with gelatos and water, you can do either one, now that I've <laughs> forgot to take that out. But, I just use these blotters, um, or I just use a gelato and put water on it if I don't want to blot, and I might just do that. Here's my gelatos by Faber-Castell, or Faber-Castell. But before I show you what I'm going to do, I have been using um, inserts by Michaels. That's what I started out with as a beginner. I bought their string journals because it was cheap. And the paper's thick, but here's the thing. You could buy, now you can't find them because they're discontinued, but you could buy three pack, 20 pages in each for about $5. And you could get them in white or you could get them in craft. Really basic, really simple, not super high quality, um, just cheap. And it was good for me to start out. Well then I ordered, um, this Color Crush Mint by Webster Pages and started using it and when I got it I got uh, an insert and it was this one by Webster Pages as well and with Webster Pages or any of the really good ones like I just got these today I'm super excited uh, Midori you get 64 pages and they're really good quality and they're thin, but they're good quality and they hold medium really well. And for the price of one of these, like six bucks um, or whatever, and you're paying for three cheap ones for the same amount of pages for like five bucks, this is really the better deal. So I got one to replace my calendar diary. So that'll start in October. And I got this one for a spiritual journal in here because I want to add that to this. And I prep my pages. Um, like I did here and here and um, here I was doing some book notes so I tried all kinds of different things I love the gelatos seems to give a really um, good background as compared to doing watercolor but if you have I have some really good watercolors but um, just for doing background pages I don't want to use those and then, like I had done in here, and this was the Michaels and everything in here is the Michaels cheaper. And it's actually, this is my last trip. Um, and I still have to finish up my pages on this. But the craft is hard to get things to show up. And in this one, I have the, web, the Midori's Traveler's Notebook that I use just for um, general journaling. So you can see I did the pages as well. A little decorating. I did some spraying of acrylic paint. <clears throat> That's watercolor. Okay. So I wanted to just prep a few pages just to show you. I love this. Oh, gosh. oh my gosh. So nice. Just to show you how easy it is to prep. And I did some of these pages just um, in the car. I just brought my little um, watercolor set. And I brought my gelatos. And let's see, that should be in here. My little watercolor set by Windsor Newton that's for traveling. Oh, these are always sticking. And I just brought a couple of water pens and did it that way, and it it worked really well for traveling in the car, actually. Be, you'd be surprised. But I'm not in the car today. I'm gonna use these cheap ones by Michaels because I wanna see how the ones with the sheen to them look. And I'll also do some with the gelato so you can see what that looks like. And um, I like to just prep them whatever color I want because then afterwards I can just do, I can do what I want as far as, you know, writing on them or decorating 
And I ordered a set of Atmo paint brushes. It's a set of six for watercolor, uh, ranging from size two through 12. I really like them. When you watercolor, it's a good idea to have one brush for like rinsing your brush off and then one water, I mean jar of water, and then the other jar is the clean one for the second rinse. So that's always a good idea. So let's just see how this looks. And I'm going to go with this, a pale, pale orange. You probably can't even see what I'm doing. You can also mix your color up here in the tray. That's kind of what they're for. Um, I'm not gonna do that. So this is all I do, is I just do a little bit of color. It's just a background color, it's nothing else. Um, if you do a little more water, you'll get a, a brighter color. But like I said, these are super cheap paints. I think you probably get a better result with good paints. And see, I'm not really like, yeah, I'm not really liking that coloring. So goodbye to Michaels. I've got some Reeves paints in here, and I think we'll use these instead. So I just have them in here. Um, let's try an orange. Okay. Curious what I got for. Ooh, see the difference? Oh, and it spreads. Okay, so here's what I'm going to say don't use cheap watercolors <laughs> because you don't get a nice color at all. Use the good ones. Okay? And that's all you have to do. Okay, so let's do this and make sure that's clean, dip it in here, and I'm going to just add a little yellow to it, just get a little water and just add some yellow. Okay. We'll just add a little yellow here, just kind of balance it off, get a little streaking going in there, that's perfectly fine. And I'm going to do a little bit here. And really, um, when you write on this, like with a black uh, pit pen is usually what I use, it, it just really turns out nice. Okay? So there you go, just um, the color. I'll let this dry. I think you get less uh, wrinkles if you just let it dry naturally. So this is just going to be a background for writing on or putting ephemera, ephemera on or anything like that. So definitely um, this is way better. Don't use the cheap Michaels for your background color. It does not work. Use different. These are tube paints that I just put in. I think I had 16 or 18 and I just put them in the palettes. Okay, so let's take the second one. <clears throat> and I will be prepping this one for the calendar pages, I think. And since we're moving into fall, what I want to do is make this more of a fall color. So let's take I have kind of a sienna color here. It's really pretty. Let me just do it down here. Do a little up here. And I'll draw my lines, or however I'm going to do it. I've been trying to think of how I want to do my calendar. Just a little bit different. Because I was doing it one way, and I've been watching videos, and I felt like it could be. Get a nice yellow. 
These are just kind of fall colors. This is a very abstract way of doing this. Hmm. I can get a little better um, look to it when I do um, when I do with the gelatos. Okay, so that's just if you want to do something abstract. Super simple. Now, if you want to use, uh, this is what I was doing before for my calendar, my journaling, diary, I guess I'll say. Slamming a week onto two pages. Um, it's just crazy, 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 and I'm going to try and just change that up and do something different. So I'm going to think about it. I'm going to start it in October. It's the first day of our trip. But I'm going to go back to this one, and I'm going to show you, I need more space, how the water and the gelatos and how well that works. So here's my gelatos. <clears throat> And this is pretty much dry. I'll do this side just in case, you know. But let's just take this bright orange. Um, actually, no. I was using the more um, subdued colors when I was doing it. So all I did was just like, you do like this, and it almost looks like a flower. Okay. All right. And then I took this green and you just do a something like this. It just gives kind of a leafy look to it. Very basic. That's really it. And and I'll show you a page um, that has the typing on it. And I usually take the travel, like I said, I take the travel brushes with me, so um, just get some water on there, and you just do that circular motion, and if you do the circular motion, you still get that look of the flower, see? A little more water. And do this one. You just go the circular. I probably would be better off not using a watercolor brush on this because it, it's probably not good for my brush. So I would just use a brush that's made for whatever kind of painting instead of this kind of painting. Okay. So clean that off and then you just come back in. And just go your on your yep definitely don't use a watercolor brush for this because it's just not the same Ugh. okay that's it um i'm gonna use something else something let's go with this one Something that can take a little bit more of a beating. I don't want to like, hurt my watercolor brushes. Okay. And, okay. And that's all you do. Real simple. You let that dry. And like I said, I did a bunch of that in here. And I've got a page that's similar that I wrote on. Well, this one I did, I just did the circles, not the green. Um, I was thinking I did a page, but I did like that. Mm -hmm. Might have been here. Well, anyway, but you can see on here that you can totally write over it. I did some here. A little bit different there. But you can totally write over it, and it just 
when you write over it, it looks really, really neat. I really like it. So that's a simple prep I do, um, especially if I'm going on a trip, like I'm going on an extra long vacation. So I want to prep some pages and get them ready so I don't have a lot of work. I can just work on them and not have to do um, so many on a trip. So thank you for watching and I um, hope it was useful for you.